My name is Nicholas Lucky, and I'm a software developer for Deuterium. I'm going to present to you SiteApp, an Airflow and CWL-powered bioinformatics platform. We make research more affordable and reproducible for data scientists. As we already know, Airflow is a task-driven workflow management system. It's widely used by huge companies for scheduling and executing various CTL pipelines. However, it's less common to see Airflow used in academia. One of the reasons for this is that scientific workflows are more data-oriented. We studied several data-oriented workflow specifications that are currently popular in academia, such as CWL, WDL, Nextflow, and SnakeMake. We decided to use Common Workflow Language as it is one of the more user-friendly and feature-filled workflow languages. Common Workflow Language is an open source standard for describing analysis workflows in a way that makes them portable and scalable. It's designed for data-intensive science. It's not limited to only bioinformatics, but can also be used in other fields like astronomy or machine learning. In order to make Airflow more suitable for the needs of our platform, we decided to create CWL Airflow. This Python package extends Airflow with CWL support and brings to Airflow most of the features that data scientists would value. CWL allows us to keep workflows in a human-readable form. Each workflow is saved as either a YAML or JSON file. For biologists who may not be very experienced with Python, this is a more easily understandable representation of what their workflows do. From the CWL representation, they can easily understand which tools and with what parameters are run. Additionally, it's much easier to make small corrections in place without diving into the Python code. The next important feature that CWL brings to Airflow is workflow provenance. Compared to the workflow execution statistics and logs saved by Airflow, CWL specification allows us to have semantically rich and platform independent research objects. Such research objects can be used for workflow sharing and publications. They ensure the validity and reproducibility of the published results. Having a modular workflow structure is another benefit of using CWL and Airflow. With that approach, we can easily replace any workflow component. This dramatically increases the speed of workflow development as we can reuse the workflow parts developed by other research teams. CWL makes our workflows portable and vendor independent. It allows using open ontologies and vocabularies that increase workflow interoperability. Together with workflow provenance, it all helps us to comply with the FAIR principles for scientific data management and fight the problem of non-reproducibility in scientific research. Last but not least, CWL brings to Airflow a rich ecosystem of available tools. More than 20 participating organizations contribute their workflows and tools to the research community. CWL Airflow serves as a processing engine for SiteApp. SiteApp, in turn, is a data analysis platform that makes complex computational workflows both user-friendly and reproducible. SiteApp helps biologists keep their research well-structured and organized, and it can benefit both small laboratories and big core facilities. CWL allows us to provide additional metadata for any object in the workflow, so we can use it to extend our workflows with rich visualization plugins. Roughly, the platform consists of two types of components, a web UI that gives our customers a convenient way to access their data, and the actual processing units that we call satellites. Every satellite is completely independent of others and runs its own Airflow scheduler and metadata database. It also has additional software to make it part of the SiteApp system. Having Airflow at the core of each satellite simplifies its deployment. We can easily install it on a laptop, in-house, or cloud server. Additionally, each satellite in turn can have multiple workers if needed. One of the first challenges we faced was converting a CWL workflow to an Airflow DAG. We wanted to have a short and elegant solution that would give us convenient access to the CWL workflow structure to construct a DAG based on it. So we created a new class called CWL DAG. As you can see, Adding a new DAG now only takes a few lines of code. All we need to do is just set the path to our workflow file. Alternatively, we can even embed the compressed workflow file content directly into our Python DAG definition file. 
The next challenge was caused directly by the nature of CWL specification, as it describes a workflow as a data-oriented model. But Airflow is a task-driven workflow management system. Thus, we had to find a way to mimic a data-driven approach for our CWL DAG. To do that, we define workflow steps execution order based on their inputs and outputs. We also use Airflow XCOM messages for sharing the path to the workflow step execution results. Because now we have a formalized workflow description specification, we need to spend time not only on parsing our CWL files, but also on syntax validation. The latter may take quite a while, especially when we have hundreds of DAGs to load. To prevent a timeout while importing DAGs, we developed a simple mechanism to skip syntax validation for those CWL files that have already been parsed. Keeping a pickled version of each CWL workflow shortens CWL DAG loading time by more than 10 times compared to the standard Python JSON load function. When comparing benefits of having CWL and Airflow with disadvantages caused by it, we mostly look at the aspect of Airflow usage in scientific community. The cost of limited functionality due to CWL specification is outweighed by cross-vendor portability and a shallow learning curve for newcomers. The rich ecosystem of available and well-tested tools from a broad list of participating organizations will lower the risk of having errors in your workflows. And having the visualization tools for building your pipelines, such as Rabix Composer, will let people even without programming skills design and run CWL pipelines. We see CWL Airflow as a perfect fit for scientific research. CWL is one of the easiest ways to increase a pipeline's portability and interoperability. And considering the enormous amount of research data, as well as the increasing complexity of scientific pipelines, for workflow management systems, it's better to use common standards and techniques. In addition, Having visual workflow editors such as Rabix Composer will allow even non-bioinformaticians to create and edit pipelines, as well as directly submit them for execution. Altogether, it will create a surface for collaboration which will promote innovations and new achievements in science. As for future improvements, we are currently working on complete support of all CWL features, such as conditional and scattered step execution as well as abstract operation support. The latter will allow us to have an even more modular workflow structure so that we can easily swap the workflow steps of the same functionality without any changes in the workflow. We've also started development for WDL support, another commonly used workflow language in scientific research. We are considering using Nextflow and Snakemake as well. And last but not least, we are constantly improving CWL Airflow to make it run smoothly in the cloud. Thank you for your time. You can find CWL Airflow on the Airflow Ecosystems page alongside all of the other wonderful tools.